In weeks one and two, we assembled this circuit collection here with a push button, an LED, and that output going to digital pin 10 over here, a potentiometer that we can adjust the voltage on, and the output from that potentiometer going to analog pin A0 over here. We've got a TMP36 with its output going to analog pin A2 over here from our TMP36. And we've got a cadmium sulfide photocell with the output going to analog pin A3 from the measured output on that photocell. For weeks three and four, we're going to add a digital sensor as well. And it's on a breakout board that's inside this, uh, this little package here. And if you have a look on that breakout board, you'll see labels on the various output pins for V in, 3V0, that's the regulated down voltage to 3 volts. So V in will get connected to plus 5, ground to ground, the SCL connection to pin A5, and the SDA connection to pin A4 to allow us to do I2C digital communications with that uh, BMP180 board. So looking here, I've already labeled this up. I know that the purple wire in this instance is coming from V in, and the blue wire is coming from ground. I checked that on the inside. So the purple wire, I've got a red lead attached to it here, plugged in, and I'm gonna plug that into plus five. The blue one, I've got a black lead plugged into the end here, and I'm gonna plug that into ground. So that'll provide our power supply to our pressure sensor in here. Now the SCL line, that is the next one, that's the green line. So this green one, I'm going to plug into A5, that's the last analog pin in the row. And then the last one that's left is the SDA line, the other I2C uh, communication line, and that's going to go to pin A4, it's the yellow one here. So the second to last connection in the line. So now I've got all of this hooked up. I should be able to measure all of these analog quantities. And at the same time, I should be able to communicate digitally with this pressure sensor and measure the atmospheric pressure. So let's test that out.